Now the next thing we're going to have a look at today is how to create a section and an elevation of our built model, of our BIM model. What I'm going to do before I do that is just copy the ground floor up one more story to create a first floor and then create another slab up to create the final story. So to do that we could just do this. I'm going to group all these walls together for now or just copy them. I don't want to copy the um, veranda in this case that was on the bottom story. Paste that on the first floor. You'll see that the, um, the grid will actually automatically go on all stories. And so we definitely don't want to paste a copy of that. Now, sorry, I only want to copy the slab in this case onto the roof. Why is it blue? It's blue just so you can see it. Um, I don't need to have a cover fill, but when I'm doing videos particularly, it makes it easier for you to know what I'm doing when you can see the cover fill representation of the slab. Now, what does that look like in 3D? We see that that's just created a big, really ugly box at the moment. Um, I'm not going for style right now. I'm just explaining the tools. So once we've created a shape, of course, now we can um, start to create representations. Obviously, we already draw mostly in floor plans, but we need to also be able to create those other views, those sections and elevations. So we find that under our design, sorry, under our document category, our section marker, we can cut through in any orientation. Now that should go all the way through the building. Choose which direction we look and click. I'll do that again. So click once, hold shift to make it straight, click again, then choose which direction we're looking. Now that's automatically going to assign section three, section six. I don't know why it's assigning those particular numbers. And of course we can change those as well if we want to. I'm not going to worry too much about it now. I don't want to muck around with too many settings. I just want to explain it to you. You can also see that that's automatically created those views in our sections folder in our project map. So I can double click that and that'll take me straight to it. Now, because our mesh is so big, we might need to zoom in to the area that we're actually talking about. Here we can see this is our building. So we see the slab on the bottom, columns, slab, walls, slab, walls, slab. And you can see that they're currently cutting into each other. What I haven't done is adjusted those height to reduce that down. And I also haven't added more things that I need for structure like beams. So it's very simple at the moment. We're going to add beams to this later and start to make this building look the way that it should to represent accurately. Uh, for now, it's just about representation. And of course, elevations is the same thing. We're going to use the elevation tool. And this time, we're going to do it on the outside. Click choose which direction, and I'm going to do that on all four sides. Now I want to slightly go past the edge of my building. I could go a long way past the edge of my building if I wanted to. Uh, why is that important? It's just scope of what we're going to be seeing. Elevations, again, double click. And I can of course change those names. Normally I'd want to, those names to represent north, south, east, west, or northeast, southeast, northwest, southwest. We'll talk about save views later. Um, for now, again, it's just a simple representation. So from a 3D model, we can produce 2D drawings. Now we automatically have these story levels here. Now I won't use these as my RLs. I'll actually turn those off later and I'll create my own height markers with proper RLs or AHDs or whatever you want to call them. Dimensions, horizontal dimensions, which is the way that we dimension in elevations and sections. Uh, but this is how we create realistic BIM, as in editable, elevations and sections. And of course, these can all be updated at any time. And these can all, once we change something, like say we want to add a perimeter wall around the roof, and I don't want it to be linked. I want it to be, say, one meter high to create maybe a parapet.
and I want that to now be outside face. Show it all in 3D, so we can see that there's a little brick parapet around the edge, and then when we go to our sections, we'll see that that's automatically generated there as well, and it's automatically been generated in our elevations brick parapet. So, yeah, really ugly. Sorry, not a fantastic example for explaining how this can make it look really good. Uh, this is a very big, boring building at the moment because we don't have any design definition, uh, but that's how simple the tool can be to use.